All right, it's been a while since the last vlog. I've uh, been working away. Uh, there's a few different reasons for not updating in a while. Uh, some of them have to do with me crossing some wires. Uh, the motors had some issues, so I replaced those with some T-motors. Uh, I have a little bit of footage of that that I'll stick at the end just before we got to the point where I wasn't able to fly anymore. So I guess what's coming up now? Um, I've got a companion computer up here and I finally got that to work. Um, I realized the serial wasn't working on it. The serial communication between the Raspberry Pi and the FMU isn't working because I think I fried the board at the beginning and so right now I'm waiting on a replacement for the board. That's kind of why the project's at a standstill. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I found some use for an older Raspberry Pi. I am setting that up as an access point and a Mavlink router just so if I want to, the Wi-Fi between that Pi and the one sitting on the drone can talk to each other at some point. Um, the sensor, or the heat sensor, is, is still working fine. The LiDAR, everything's working fine. Um, I want to improve the mapping a little bit by taking the vehicle orientation during flight and then rotating how I project the image sensor for the uh, thermal sensor. How I project the, whatever. It's a thermal sensor and it only takes one reading, but I project that onto the ground and I need to change how that's projected on the ground depending on the vehicle orientation, so I need to get the vehicle orientation. And that's been a little bit of a challenge. Um, I've managed to get through the MAV SDK, um, the roll pitch and yaw angles, and I threw that into the, the correct rotation matrix, I thought, and not quite pointing in the right direction or the direction that I think it ought to. And I also should figure out how to do it with quaternions, because that's probably faster and means I gotta learn quaternions. But anyways, um, that's where I'm at. Still going good, still programming and getting the back end ready. Um, oh yeah, and I was having some issues with getting the sensors to read and I was testing the capacitor that I have up here on a IC2 hub and I2C hub, sorry. Anyways, I just, when I tested it, I crossed the terminals and blew out the power distribution board. Where's you at? Yeah. Little smoke point in there somewhere. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Let the smoke out right there. Which I guess is good, because it didn't blow anything else, but since I'm waiting on another FMU board, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the replacement for that should be coming tomorrow. Uh, the FMU is gonna show up whenever an XP decides to ship it and then integrate everything back together. Hopefully get back out and get some testing done. And this should get wrapped up pretty soon here. I'd like to be done before Christmas. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Put on some new motors, waiting for some other parts, but uh, yeah. So the last motors were starting to click a little bit and feel a little wobbly. Uh, I don't know if it's the fact that the 4S is a little too much for the old ones, or whatever. Uh, I found some T-motors, some old ones. Put those on there. They seem to be doing all right. Uh, it was a little odd when I started it up earlier. Yeah, I think the throttle set too low, but I don't know why there would be a difference. Um, three of the motors spun, and the other one kind of just sat there. But it takes off and lands pretty good. So, there's that. <laughs> nice to have those big motors when you pick the wrong switch. Okay. <laughs> 